All right, let's talk about this potential tropical system. Here it is, number two out here. Not yet a tropical depression, but expected to become one later on today. Maybe a tropical storm by late tonight or tomorrow. After that, forecast to become a hurricane by Friday afternoon. Hurricane Bonnie before making landfall in Central America. It's closest pass about 900 miles south of Florida. So this one is not going to impact us, but it could produce some swell across the Caribbean Sea. So as I mentioned with the cruise ships going down to the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, uh, places like that, there could certainly be some wave action. Speaking of waves, we've got a couple of tropical waves. First of all, this is potential tropical system two. This one has a 20% chance behind it. And then there's another one in the Gulf that might bring some heavy rain to Southeast Texas before this week is out. Looks to be all but a guarantee for the rain, but it may even become a tropical system. Only a 20% chance though with that, which is very good news. That said, they can use the rain in Texas, which is also very good news. We've got friends there that have been complaining about the drought conditions. Fox 35 storm tracker radar dome. You can see that downpour I just showed you on radar in Bithlow detected by this radar system. Central Florida's newest next generation Doppler radar. Pretty cool to see it in the flesh and see what it's fleshing out. This is what it looks like from Windermere right now. Windermere Preparatory School. Look at that downpour. Occasional lightning being produced from this one. Cloud to ground lightning, the most dangerous kind. So be very careful out there. You can see the trees really blowing around. Look at this right on the, uh, the track there. Looks like somebody's walking over to uh, one of the buildings and you can see the flaps blowing around. Looks like winds 30 miles an hour. Look at, the, look at these clouds roll through in real time. This is pretty impressive to see. So it goes without saying, Windermere. Take cover. This thing's heading toward the west. Our weather this week featuring much more of that. Isolated storms tomorrow. Numerous storms late week. And yes, indeed, the tropics are heating up. So tonight we'll see a low of 76 degrees in Orlando. Storms ending before 10 o'clock. Tomorrow, the high 93, a 40% chance for rain. It'll be 90 tomorrow at Daytona Beach. Here's your seven-day forecast. Lower rain chances for the next two days. Higher rain chances as we get toward Friday, which is also July 1st. On Sunday, just a 40% chance for rain. That's what I'm watching because we've got red hot and boom in Altamont Springs. It's the big fireworks display. I'll be there with the Fox 35 Storm Team Thunder Truck Sunday afternoon. And July 4th itself, only about a 20% chance.